Cockpit Country. The drumming you hear is coming from high in the mountains, called Cockpit Country. The people drumming are called Maroons. And the Maroons have been drumming in Cockpit Country for 282 years, since defeating the British in a fight for freedom. And this year, on January 6th, 2022, the Maroons will beat the drums again, marking the 283rd year of freedom. But this year, something has changed in cockpit country. The drums seem a little stronger, because this year, you can join the Maroons, celebrate live, online for the first time. Peeps, it's your girl, Blessed Gaza Diva, and welcome back to the Blessed Gaza Diva channel. And people, what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about Maroon Town. Anyway, people, when we get back, we're going to look into it, we're going to talk about it. Let's kick it. You're not like anyone else. You find the way you are. Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room. Sending us up to the time, you know it's called Tell, representing for Blessed D, Gaza Diva. So people, yesterday the police took to Instagram and they issued a warning. Police warn against maroon event in a Kong Pong. The police are warning against the staging of any event in a Kong Pong St. Elizabeth on Thursday. The police say that they have been made aware of the event to mark the start of the maroon new year. And this is the recording. It has come to the attention of the St. Elizabeth Police that members of the Akompong Maroon community are desirous of hosting their annual celebration on January 6, 2022. This celebration is normally attended by a large number of people. The Maroon community is to be reminded that the Disaster Risk Management Act, Order Number 12, which is currently in force, and which expires on January 13, prohibits gatherings in public place in excess of 10 persons at a time. It also prohibits hosting of such events. In light of this, we are appealing to members of the public not to attend this celebration as they are likely to be in contravention of the law and may be prosecuted. The police will be out in their numbers to enforce the laws of Jamaica and the Maroon community is not exempted. After the recording, don't know what happened, we take to Richard Curry um, space and look what Mr. Curry has done. So Richard took to his Instagram and they promoted the festival and you can hear the promotion for the festival. The big bad Morgan Freeman is promoting it. And Richard took to his Instagram and he wrote, The annual Maroon Festival is not cancelled and will proceed as planned so Maroons can continue our spiritual and traditional ceremonies as our ancestors did before us. The Maroon Festival should be compared to other religious events such as pilgrimage to Mecca where Muslims from around the world get a chance to circle the Kaaba. This is a religious duty of Maroons to honor our ancestors and to show the way forward for the born and the unborn. This is our way of life. Maroons stand unified on this day! Exclamation! Hashtag Soundy Abang. Boy, people, I guess we can just um, wait and see what's going to come of this one because you hear the police said that they were warning against it and Richard Curry is just stated that his festival is on and it's being held.
Now, people are going to have a lot of things to say that Richard is disobeying the law. Richard has no respect for authority. Richard is not doing what he's supposed to do. People, we have to remember that they are a sovereign state, whether we want to agree with it or not. And whether we want to agree that they have their own laws, their own operations, they do. My grandma is a maroon. She's from Trelawney. They've always maintained their independence and their individual celebrations. Now, I personally do not believe they should stop the maroons because Richard confirmed some time ago that there's no confirmed cases of Rona there. And if there are no cases of Rona there, I am saying allow the people them to keep them festival. We have so many upper echelon parties, so many upper echelon festivals that are going on behind closed doors and in secret. I personally believe they should allow him to keep his celebration if they don't celebrate it now it is like they are breaking a long-held tradition amongst themselves and it could cost internal upheaval people are saying that richard has no respect for authority and as i said i do not agree with that but many people will have to say what they have to say anyway people tell me your thoughts on down below in the comment section and as for usual we'll have a discussion if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please hit notification bell and if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video smash the like button and send this out i'm out greetings beloved people this is chief richard curry from the cockpit country I send my regards from the Cockpit Country, Jamaica's largest forest reserve and home of the indigenous Maroons of Cockpit Country. First, let me congratulate all the family and supporters of Marcus Garvey for keeping his memory alive and keeping true to his legacy and his, his ideals. It is important that I acknowledge Marcus Garvey's struggle just as how he acknowledged and recognized the struggles of others. Bigger than this, Oral history tells us Garvey was himself a Maroon descendant, his mother being from Scotsall, known traditionally as Cushetown, from what I understand. It is important that we stand with each other together in this time of great division and great oppression. It is important that we are the rock, a firm foundation for each other in this time of great need. We understand that there may be differences between us, but it is always personal differences that have gotten in the way of victory and development of indigenous people since the very beginning of colonial enterprise. If people could learn to put aside personal differences and feelings for the overall good, then I believe that we will see the world that we are struggling for, a world in which everyone is giving their fair due, a world in which everyone is, re is respected, a world in which everyone is free. It is said that doing the same thing over and over again while seeking a different result is a mark of insanity. Therefore, let us show the world that as indigenous people, we are intelligent and level-headed and can be peacefully united for the common good. Let us show our ancestors that we recognize their sacrifice and that we appreciate what they have done to get us here. They have already done, the, done their part it is up to us now to build on what they've left behind. It is with great respect and pleasure that I say the Maroons of Cockpit Country stand with you all and support your struggle for the recognition of your rights and your development. And we hope that you will stand in solidarity with us as we are in the same struggle that you are against oppression, tyranny, and underdevelopment. Let us peacefully build and develop our institutions. Let us recognize our structures of self-governance and let us, as Kranich said, simply act in a sovereign capacity. Blessed love.